Hey guys, Shane from Lava Cart here. This video, I'm going to show you how to convert a Proane Vanguard cart or on stage utility cart to be compatible with Lava Cart shelves. The reason these carts aren't compatible out of the box is the perforated holes are facing this way and our rod system goes that way. So, we designed a kit that will easily help you convert one of these carts. To be compatible with our shelves. So this kit is going to include a rat tail file, two size drill bits, a 332nd for your pilot hole, and an 1132nd for your through hole for the rod. And it's going to come with this bracket, and this bracket has a couple magnets on it, and a guide for your pilot hole. So this will make it easy for you to find the spot where you're going to drill your holes. A um, couple things you're going to need, a power drill and tape measure and some gaff tape can come in handy as always. So first step is take a measurement and you can make some decisions here. You have a little liberty. You can put your shelf height wherever you'd like it. Um, keep in mind, whatever height you go with on your hole, the shelf will sit two and a half inches higher than the hole. So we've already drilled a couple holes into this cart. Uh, we went with 34 and a half inches, which will ultimately set your shelf to 37 inches approximately. So let's start from the ground and we'll go up to 34 and a half right at the pilot hole. The camera can see that 34 and a half. And then take a piece of gaff tape. This is optional, but recommended. Place it right under the bracket. And this way, if you bump that bracket and those magnets slide, you'll be able to go right back where you were. Then take your drill, load in your 332nd drill bit. And if your, your drill has a collar adjustment, go to drill setting and high speed for this is okay. So I'm right-handed. I'm gonna hold the cart frame with my left hand and my thumb on the bracket, just to make sure there's no movement. I'll drill with my right hand and make sure your level as best you can by eye. And I'm gonna start walking it in. There's two walls to this since this is a hollow tube. So once you get through the first wall, we'll stop and then reset our drill. So I'm gonna go in nice and slow. And now I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, I'm through the first wall. Let's make sure we're reset. Square. Creep in the second wall. Let's go through. Okay, once you do that, stop and pull off your bracket and then reset your drill to the 330 second drill bit. Lock that collar down. So the tip of this drill, you should be able to find the pilot hole. Make sure you're square. Start creeping it in. Okay, and now we can crank. Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm through the first wall. Those chips will be hot. Okay, make sure you reset and find that pilot hole on the second wall. Stay square, creep it in. Sometimes it'll catch like that, reverse. Okay, finally broke through. Now I'm gonna keep it in there and clean up that hole a little bit with this drill bit. Okay, and then be careful because there might be sharp burrs on the back side. Clean it up with the rat tail file. You can go through the whole hole with it. 
But that back side is pretty gnarly right now. I'm just gonna clip those off. Great. It's nice and clean, no sharp edges. And uh, you'll repeat these steps on all four corners. And once you do that, the rod system should go in no problem. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. If you have any problems while using this kit, uh, we're happy to help. Uh, two things I noticed about this cart. If you don't have it yet, buyer beware, this is very heavy. This is about twice as heavy as a rock and roller cart, uh, but it is robust. So uh, if weight is a concern, do not buy it. Uh, the other thing, uh, it has these foot brakes that collapse the cart, which a lot of people like. Um, that's cool, but you gotta make sure these bolts stay tight. There's a 13 millimeter bolt on each side. Uh, I suggest keeping a set in your kit just so you can tighten those things so then you don't have any wiggle with your cart. Um, the other thing is you can clamp this foot brake down, clamp it to this other bar. Uh, that might help if you have any um, stability issues. Um, but other than that, this thing is a tank. So good luck. Let us know what you use. We love to hear from you guys. And uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.